Hey, this is Andrew with rawfoodhealth.net, and this is yet another entry into my series on normal eating. And as always, I am greatly indebted to the grumpy old man in the park who told me a while back that eating so much fruit was not normal. And uh, your grumpiness, your irate intolerance for other eating styles has uh, introduced a lot of people to healthy eating. So thank you once again. The past entries into this series have mostly centered around the intake of large fruit meals and uh, they do make up the bulk of the calorie intake on a raw food diet but a lot of people confuse that with thinking that vegetables are not important and that could not be farther from the truth. Vegetables on a healthy raw food diet are critical. I've done quite a bit of experimenting with different levels of vegetable intake and what I've found is that when I don't get a large volume of greens into my diet, I start to suffer in terms of athletic performance and just general energy and feelings of well-being. I don't perform as well without vegetables. So I've made it a point to incorporate lots of them into my diet. Now how much is lots? Well, I aim to get of three to six percent of my calories from vegetables. Now that may not sound like a lot, but you have to remember that vegetables are extremely low in calories compared to most other foods, the type of vegetables anyway that, that you're going to eat on a raw food diet. And if you take a head of lettuce, even the biggest head of lettuce, the most calorically dense head of lettuce is maybe going to be like 80 calories and most are probably going to be closer to somewhere around 40 to 60. So you really have to eat a lot of volume of vegetables in order to hit that uh, 3 to 6 percent target. Now here I am eating my first plate of lettuce of the afternoon and this is probably uh, as much salad as the average person eats in a week or more. Um, I had uh, this is taken at a um, organic vegetarian buffet restaurant in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and they happen to have a pretty decent salad bar. So I, I go there and just uh, uh, really chow down on the salad bar. But um, as you can see, if you if you look at what the other people are eating, they're all eating the the oil drenched, calorically um, high foods that are available and they're not eating anything like I'm eating and these are vegetarians they're supposedly vegetable lovers and you know they're not really eating very much volume so what's in this salad that I'm eating normally if I was gonna make this at home I would probably have just one gigantic bowl where I would mix everything together and I would probably whip up a nice uh, salad dressing made not from oils like most people eat but um, just fruits and vegetables and maybe some herbs and um, uh, that that's how I would probably do it but here at the salad bar obviously they don't have any healthy dressings that I would consider worth eating so I'm simply eating vegetables and throwing some fruit on for a little flavor but what you have to remember is that the average person has been eating salt and uh, a bunch of spices and other toxins which have affected their taste buds. When you stop eating that after about a month, you're going to start detecting tons of new flavors. Like lettuce, most people don't understand, actually has a mild sweetness to it. If you get good fresh lettuce, it's actually enjoyable to eat just by itself. Sometimes I do that. So, um, you know, you got to keep that in mind if you think, oh, that's such a harsh salad he's eating. And uh, like I said, I, I've also got the um, pineapple and the watermelon in there to uh, add some flavor. The other elements are just tons of lettuce, tons of cucumber. There's some uh, spiralized squash kabocha on top. I'll put a link to that in there. And um, it's a, a nice filling meal. It's not particularly calorically dense. There isn't a ton of fruit in it, but that's not what I was going for. I'm here to chow down on some vegetables. So I'm about to go up to the salad bar for uh, plate number three and so now I'm pretty much up to the amount of salad the average person eats in maybe a month or two months and uh, so I just want to emphasize just the large volume that I'm eating. 
one of the benefits of eating these large amounts of vegetables, um, outside of the fact that you're giving yourself tons of nutrients that are required for your body to function well, is that if you're in the, uh, if you have a desire to lose some weight, uh, vegetables serve a really good purpose. They will fill up your stomach and give you that need, uh, satisfy that need for volume. But without the calories, you can pretty much eat vegetables all day and you're not going to gain any weight. You're going to start losing weight just because they're so calorically poor. Um, so uh, while f fruit is a must, you're not going to get by eating just vegetables and you're going to fail miserably if you try. Um, incorporating these large vegetable meals and reducing the amount of fruit you uh, take in can be a pretty key strategy. Now, when a lot of people become raw foodists, or even vegetarians and vegans, there's this joke that they're eating rabbit food. Like, this is what they're getting all their calories from. But that's actually kind of nonsense because, uh, like I said before, you're not going to succeed uh, doing that. But one way that people deceive themselves into thinking that they are doing that is by eating a lot of a big salad, say, and there's very few calories, less than a, less than a hundred or two hundred calories in there. And what they'll put on top is the oil-based dressing and the avocados and the nuts and seeds. And they'll say to themselves, "Oh, well, I'm eating just vegetables. That's where I'm getting my calories from." But they're really just lying to themselves or, or not paying attention because where they're getting their calories from is fat. Doesn't work out. For tons of free information, recipes, and videos on how to eat a healthy raw food diet, check out raw-food-health.net. Thanks. See you later.